And next up we have the glitch sequencer, which is a very cool feature for applying different effects in a step sequencer like fashion. Um, diving straight into it then, to turn it on, I just have to activate the switch. And you can see when I hold down notes, this light moving across the top there to show you which step you're currently on. I'm going to decrease it to just four steps to make it a bit simpler. And now to activate some of these effects. At the moment, even though you can see these bars here, they're not doing anything to the sound because this is a low pass filter and this is a gate. Um, first up, though, I'm going to turn them all off. And I'll yeah, we'll just keep the low pass filter on. So you're probably familiar with what a low pass filter does. It cuts out the high frequencies more and more as I lower the cutoff, which is what this bar is doing here. Um, you've also got this mix dial here. Now, if you have it set to the default position around here somewhere, then you can hear some of this dry or rather unprocessed, um, non-glitch sequenced sound coming through. So some of the high frequencies are actually sneaking through unfiltered there. But if I set it to fully wet, then we'll cut those out. So yeah, it blends between dry and which is no glitch sequence and wet, which is just the glitch sequence. So that's the low pass filter. If I turn on the high pass filter now, this works the other way. So I can increase the cut off, cut off frequency to cut out more and more of the bass. So using both filters together can result in you cutting out all of the frequencies. This is a kind of bassy sound. I think I'll probably leave the high pass uh, filter out of this one. And then above that, there is a repeater, like a beat repeat or a looper, which takes each, each slice and repeats it a number of times, increasing the speed as you uh, increase the value of the bar. Obviously as the speed gets really rapid, it turns into a sort of tone. As you get with very small repeating delays. And then at the bottom we have the gate. So this can decrease the uh, length of each step to create a snappier, punchier kind of sound. Obviously, depending on the length of the repeat, then you need to bear in mind that the gate level might cut out the loop if the if the loop is quite um, slow. And then the last two down here are a bit crusher and sample rate reduction for creating lo-fi effects.
And of course, you can also change the speed here. So yeah, very handy section for creating subtle rhythmic textures within a sound or very blatant uh, glitched sequenced patches. <laughs> 